Welcome back to the Java Zone guys. Hope you all are doing good. So in this video, I'm going to show you something interesting. That is how to send an email using Java GUI. And this is a real time operation. So let's go on. First, you'll need to download these jar files, activation jar file and java mail jar file. After downloading this, you'll have to input these in your project. So I've mentioned the download link in the description. So kindly follow the link and download those specific files. So first, you'll need to create a new project and I'm giving my project name as test mail and my project is being created so next i'll have to delete the testmail.java platform so create a jframe form so i'm creating my jframe form and naming it as test mail and my JFrame form is created. So in order to create a GUI to send a mail, you will need a recipient, a subject and a content. So for recipient and subject, you'll need two text field and for content, you'll need a text area. So before doing anything, we'll have to import some files. So go to the library select add jar slash folder and import the files that you have downloaded so i've downloaded activation dot jar and java mail dot jar file those two files are imported here so now let's create a gui i'm going to drag and drop three label and three text field, two text field and one text area. And this text area for the mail content and this text field for subject. So, and one send button to send an email and another button to exit each and every operation. Send, exit. So there, now my GUI is being developed. And now we will have to write the source code for these to perform the operation. So before doing anything, let me also tell you something. Go to your web browser and type less secure apps. And this will lead you to this page and allow less secure apps. That is make sure that this option is enabled in both the sender's email and the receiver's email. Say for example, the sender's email is abc at the rate of gmail.com and the receiver email is xyz at the rate of gmail.com. So both these email addresses settings must be changed to less secured apps enabled. That is both these email, uh, email addresses must be enabled with less secured apps. So I'm going to go to the source code and declare some variables string from to host subject content so before go uh, before going into anything make sure that you hide your credentials that is You'll need to give your credential ID and password. So make sure, uh, so handle it very safe. And now I'm going to go to the design 
select the send button event action action performed and now i'm going to type from from is equal to your sender's email address and and the next two is equal to j text field one dot get text so the reason why i'm declaring the recipient in text field is that you'll need a recipient email address in the gui but for the from in uh, due to certain operations you'll be declaring it directly that is you'll be declaring it as a string directly and post is equal to local post subject is equal to j text field to dot get text content is equal to j text area so the content is being stored in text area so j text area 1 dot get text so my necessary variables are being scanned and now i'll need to import some packages so import java dot util dot stuff so i'm going to copy this and paste it four times and in the place of java i'm going to replace it at java x and in the place of util mail and i'm going to replace this as java x dot mail dot internet dot star and here java x dot activation so my necessary packages are being imported and now to write the code so these are some predefined codes that are necessary in order to send a mail so first properties we are going to set some properties that is set some configurations in order to send a mail so properties p is equal to new properties and p dot put mail dot smtp dot auth so this will check for the authentication this function will check for the authentication and now i'm going to copy this four times so i have four functions now and in the place of auth you will have to replace it with some functions start tls dot enable this will enable the uh, the option to transmit the email and receive, receive the email and this is host host is equal to smtp.gmail.com and this is port and i'm giving my port number as 587 and the next thing you will have to do is declare session session function uh, session is an operation that performs a particular task session s is equal to new
session dot get default instance in this default instance i have prop i have to pass the parameters of the properties that is p comma new java x dot main dot authenticator and then click enter so now my session is created and inside the session you'll have to declare protected password authenticator authentication space get password authentication and then return new password authentication your email address and your password comma your password so now my session is created and then you have to declare a try catch exception handling so in try i'm going to declare my message my message m is equal to new my message the property p so i so in this my message you'll have to pass the parameter of the session that is the object of the session m dot set from so set from is that your from email address so i've already declared the variable for that so the from variable stores your sender's email address and the next is m dot add recipient so in this recipient you'll have to type the recipient's email address internet address so this contains your recipient email address and next the m dot subject so my subject is stored in the variable sub and then m dot set content so my content is stored in the content variable so now declare a function transport dot send message m
So in the place of set content, you'll have to replace it with set text. And then after the transport.send, that is a transport.send in the parameters M. This function will transport the message to the receiver. And then system dot out dot println so type the message success and in the catch statement type a function e dot print stack case so declare the function e dot print stack trace and this will return the necessary errors say for example if this if the transportation of the message is unsuccessful the error will be caught in the catch statement and it will be displayed to you in the output screen so my source code is ready and now let's execute this So before that, I forgot to rename this label. So recipient subject content. And one more thing in the in the in the action performed of this exit button, type system dot exit zero. This will exit. So now let's execute it. I'm typing the recipient email address. And the subject, hey, and the content, I like Java. So this might take a while. And see, my output message is success, which means my operation is successful. Now let's go check our email. And I'm going to check my inbox. So now I've received my mail as I like Java. So there guys, this is very simple and the code is quite and the code is quite big. But once you understand the code, you will be able to code it easily. So that is all guys. So thank you for watching this video. Please do like the video, share the video, subscribe the video. Thank you guys and bye bye.